right there on the seat. <laughs> well, I think this is the first for me. The first time they actually forgot to return to an abandoned house to film it. Right back there is an abandoned house they came to scout a few years ago. I took some pictures of it, checked it out, and somehow it slipped my mind and I completely forgot about it. A few years have passed and I somehow came upon the pictures and I'm like, wait, I actually never returned to film it. So that's changing today. So if you want to see what this place has to offer, all you got to do is come along with me. So before we continue, let me tell you a few things. So when I was here the first time to scout it out, all I did was take some pictures, walk around, make sure it was a viable location to film. And from when I was here, there was actually several vehicles on the property, some of which were expensive back in their time. There was also plenty of open doors, open windows, but I didn't go inside because it didn't look like it was in great condition. So, depending on how things are today, regarding if it's posted, um, dangerous, anything like that, we'll see how we can proceed as far as what we can show in the video. But I'm going to cross the street, we'll head on over there, but in the meantime, I want you to watch the photo montage of the photos I took when I was here the first time. On the property now, this is an old parking pad made out of concrete. Nature is reclaiming it. And here's the home, it's still here. I'm gonna give you kind of a walk around before we actually get into it a bit more. I'm also exposed by the roadway here, so don't wanna to draw too much attention, but I wanna show you what I can. And like I always say, These places have a story to tell. And we can learn about the people that used to live here based on the contents left behind. And this right here almost appears to be um, maybe a little pond. It has blue paint lower down, so I'm guessing maybe a little pond, maybe a little wading pool. Or it could have just been a big planter, which is what nature is claiming it as right now. But what do you guys think? I think that was a pool just because it does have the blue 
down there on the lower end of it there. A lot of garbage, which is rather typical. Plastics, burn barrels. And if you see in the distance there, there is actually a boat. A ski barge. Kenner Boat, Knoxville, Arkansas. I don't think she's seaworthy anymore. I'm sure there were some fun memories made on this. They could have used it for fishing. They could have did some jet skiing, which I'm guessing that's what it was intended for, based on the name of it. Plenty of fuel tanks. Capacity, this boat is built to accommodate under normal conditions, an outboard motor of not more than something certified horsepower and persons at 150 pounds per person. This right here is, is this a hovercraft? What the heck is this? There is a steering wheel right here, look at that. Looks like maybe the choke right there. Ignition, lights run start. And it has this circular element to it. I think this was a hovercraft, holy crap. Or a boat, I don't know, it's got boat lights on it. That is pretty neat. If you guys can confirm what this is, if it's like a, a custom made thing, or if it's actually indeed a hovercraft, which could go on land or water, that might make sense. I don't even think I saw this last time here. Wow, that is too cool. I'm about 95% certain that's a hovercraft. Further back on the property, there is a trailer hiding right there and then we have a, a sad looking swing set so probably safe to assume there was children here I'm here just before winter's end and spring change because uh, if I was here a few weeks later this would be all grown in wouldn't even really be able to see it and this horse is looking rather sad. He's basically a shell of his former self. They literally had bottle dumps on the property. There's glass here. We saw plastic earlier. Wine bottles. What is this? Is this a bowling ball? Uh, yeah, a bowling ball. What's it say on there? Mustang, 300. Well, look at that. A blue ball. Like from Christmas Story. Here, I made it, you. Thanks a lot. Well, it's a blue ball. Put it back where we found it. Guess that was their prized bowling ball. Here's the back of the house, as expected. They don't get better over time. They do get worse. It's not looking in great condition. I don't know if I'll be going inside. But there's plenty of open doors, open windows. It's not posted. No purple paint on the property. So let's uh, at least take a peek in the window where we're here. Oh yeah, she's gone downhill. You can see where they installed the drop ceiling there. And this is the bedroom. There's uh, bunk beds right here. And the smell of mold is overpowering. I don't think I'm going to be going inside. 
really, really bad. And that's the second floor falling down onto the first floor. Yeah, <laughs> it's much worse than I was anticipating. So we're going to be just checking it out like we are through the windows and doors. But we are in, appears to be a child's bedroom. Most likely with the bunk beds right there and there's steps going upstairs. Over here is our tire pile. As we come further back in the property, we have more heaps of stuff. Yeah, there's a transmission right here and an engine. Looks like maybe a straight six. It's pretty much mostly scrap metal. There's a yeah, just a little bit of everything here, but it's mostly metal, rusted junk with some other stuff mixed in. But if we look over here, we do have a Chevy panel truck, box truck, actually a former mail truck. And I do remember this from last time, it's still here. And it is loaded. It was used for storage mostly. Everything from TVs to bicycle tires, tractor tires, parts. It's almost like a little workshop and it's probably what they converted it into a, a mobile workshop and later on turned into storage. Starter, headlights, give you a view of the driver's side as well which is pretty intact you can see the wiper motors on the driver's side here we got a baseball bat basketball steering wheel hubcaps box fan and the door which still moves and here's a look. Move this out of the way here. So here she is. I don't think this one's going to start. But it would be awesome if it did. Looks like the parking brake right there. Little, probably a AM tuner radio. Maybe FM? Not sure. But it does have a radio. Any fuel? Really neat. And there's the back of it. You can still see the outline of the US mail and the paint colors, red, white, and blue. Really cool. I actually love the way that looks. As we make our way over to the side portion of the house, the porch is collapsing under the weight of numerous items. This is also where I took one of the pictures of a toy, like a doll. Appears to be an organ of sorts here. Kind of precarious walking here. Well, there's another toy. Uh, I'm going to attempt to get on the porch here. It looks rather stable. Give you a view through the window. Now, there actually is a posted sign on the door, which I don't remember if that was there last time or not. But if it is, it's an older one. The old radio there. More TVs. Another organ. Is this a sewing machine? Yep. And here is the inside. 
Wow, it's gone so far downhill from the last time I was here. So to take it in on the left hand side here, there's a, looks like an old computer tower. I see doll legs dangling out over there, various shelving. Second floor is collapsing in onto the first and the first is collapsing into the basement. VHS tape collection. That's actually a treadmill right there. Mattresses. Yeah, it's in deplorable condition. Not only is it structurally unsound, just the amount of mold I could smell, it's overpowering. So even if it was structurally sound, I wouldn't be going inside without a respirator. Actually see a wardrobe over there, some clothes still hanging down. It's partially in the basement right now. And if I look straight through, I can actually see daylight because that's the basement door on the other side, which we will check out. But yeah, it's uh, too far gone at this point. And look what we found, not only toys, but Christmas. Are those the C9 bulbs? Those are the larger ones. Which are actually kind of making a comeback. So, side porch. Not looking the greatest, but... What can you expect after it's been neglected for years and years? Plastic bins full of everything. Watch out for the hole. And here is the door. Now you can try to open it. A look on the inside looks pretty homey doesn't it move in condition even has the skeleton key slot and here's some nice curb repeal right in front of the house is another pile of junk it's like a trailer uh, ball hitch there sticking out but here's the home it actually does have some nice architecture to it. it does slightly resemble a church but it's got some neat elements to it main second floor here looks like partial second floor over there just a main floor here uh, so there's one air conditioner in the window there one here, one there, and these two are right next to each other. I'm guessing this house got very hot. It also had planters. So I'm guessing the air conditioning water would have watered the plants and flowers. And a second front door here. This almost appears to be maybe uh, like a little, maybe this was an addition or a separate apartment. It has newer steps. Okay, all you mother effers keep out. Anybody who enters this house will rot in hell. Good to know. Well, I mean, honestly, it's kind of hard to keep people out since it's pretty much rotting and falling apart in on itself. Well, oh, oh, some more Christmas lights too. Makes me wonder, when is the last time people lived here? Because there is some semi-modern stuff. Like I said, these steps are newer construction. Relatively modern Christmas lights. So it makes me wonder, you know, how long ago did people live here? I mean, you're welcome to leave your guesses down below. I would say it's over 10 years. Because it's been several years, even from when the first time I scouted it. 
and I'm actually noticing too, I think we are on the right direction that this was an addition. Over there is stone for the foundation. This is cinder block. It's two different construction elements. So my guess is this was an addition at some point, whether it be like a, an extended living room or even maybe a small apartment. But that's just my first hunch that comes to mind. Right now, let's head over to the basement because there's some stuff there I want to show you. And don't forget, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to give one of these. Now, if you are waiting to check out the cars, don't worry, we're going to get back to those, saving those for last. I just want to show there is more items over here. Remnants of a grill, 10-speed bicycle. Europa 10. That wheel looks like it still holds air. This appears to be some type of boat craft. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like a, a personal sailboat. This even appears to be part of a boat as well. Yeah, this is um, <clears throat> definitely boat related stuff. This is the shell though, or front portion of a boat, I believe. There's a steering wheel there. This is some type of watercraft. There's another upside down boat there. Some headless ducks. I think these are the ones for the, the decoys. Got the vines taking over this port portion of the house here. Must have had a well system. I think that's what that's it, what that was for. This was covered, obviously. It's rotted completely away. They got some sheet metal there, is like flanging. The house is just rotting apart. You can actually see some of the plumbing in there. But again, confirms my suspicions of two different time periods, stone, cinder block. Oh, the smell coming out of here is horrible. Captive air water tank. Yeah, I'm guessing this is for a well system you guys could probably confirm that yeah the basement smell is horrendous let me get my flashlight here oops this is the only portion I'm going in I'm just going in a little bit what is that it's an arc welder sitting on top of a like a wood burner I don't know what this is. Almost resembles like a printing press. I'll take some pictures of this too and I'll share a more up-to-date photo montage at the end. Maybe some of the pictures will yield more results or better clarity. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's got a big knob right there to turn. Some various levers and knobs and switches and there is PVC plumbing mixed in with various other things so there is the wardrobe that I saw from upstairs and if you look right there there is the gun that I found last time and took a picture of I believe but I definitely found it and I love to hear it's still here which is good it's a I think it's an action lever I'm not sure if that's a BB gun or a rifle. Yeah, roof supports right here are made out of logs. You can see a brace right here, which is not working anymore. So I definitely don't want to go too far. Okay, I'm really pushing it at this point. I'm not going to stay here too long. There's looking upstairs. That's the first floor. There's the window right there that we were looking in. 
the joists are breaking. This is literally crumbling in on itself. There's a oh a car VHS tape rewinder right there. That's pretty neat. All right, I'm gonna snap a few photos and then get out of here because it's rather sketchy standing right here. Yeah, I'm glad to be out of there. I can actually breathe now and I don't feel like I'm gonna be entombed in that house. I just found this here, Backo Sonic TV, AM, FM tuner and tape deck. TV radio consent recorder. Anyone has a time period on that? Would love to learn about it. I'll maybe try to do a little research myself. I'm guessing probably 80s, possibly. Could be wrong. But if you have any knowledge, if you've ever seen one before, would love to hear about it. And from here, we have a better look at the home. And from here, it actually looks quite nice for the most part. Uh, it's got the blue trim, blue shutters, which is kind of matching the blue sky in the background peeking through the clouds. Not a huge house, but it's moderate size. This is the main two-story part from what we could tell. It goes, you know, from the front to the back as one story, as a second story. I don't know if it's one or two rooms up there. It appears this is just one story here. But over there, it may or may not be a story and a half. That has me a little bit confused. I'm not sure how the inside would be with that. It might be a split level, bi-level, I, I don't know. But it appears it's more than just one story, but I could be wrong. Just could be really high ceilings in there as well. But it's a neat design. You don't see homes like this too often. And it does sit on a, a decent property. There's at least an acre or two here. But I know you guys are probably waiting for some of the cars. So let's check those out right now. And it appears they've been stripped somewhat since I've been here. We do have a Porsche 944. These are the vehicles that I found last time and that I took pictures of. Oh my goodness, the keys are right there on the seat. <laughs> I'm going to reach you in there, take a look around. It's a gray color. Got the iconic Porsche wheels. 215-60-VR15. I know some people also pronounce it as Porsche. I know it as Porsche, but tomatoes, tomatoes. Next to the Porsche is a Jaguar. I'm guessing it was white. I think that red beneath it was primer. Got the Jaguar license plate thing there. Emblem on the hood. There's a Portugal badge on the grill. This hood does tilt forward. Red pinstripe tires. It's more of almost like a royalty car. There is nature growing on the inside of it. Doesn't look to be all that horrible. Surface rust, but it doesn't look like it's completely rotted. Jaguar XJ. Does have twin tip exhaust. You can also tell us it's been here for a while trees growing behind it. Here we are on the driver's side. No key in ignition, but a lot of switches in there. Automatic transmission. Speedometer goes up to 140. RPMs are 5,500. 
Still holding on quite well. Last inspected, 92. That's uh, 20, 21 years. No, 31 years, sorry, 31 years. And this one is inspected 91, this is 32 years.
quite the location, isn't it? Am I glad and thankful I found those old pictures that reminded me of this place. And I'm like, wait, I never came here. I had to film it. I never did. Why didn't you, Jay? Well, we made it happen today. Successfully filmed it. Weren't able to go inside for the obvious reasons. It's so far decayed. It's two to three times worse than what it was when I scouted it the first time. The roof is falling in on the second floor. Second floor is falling in on the first floor. First floor is falling into the basement. It's literally collapsing in on itself. But this place does have a story to tell. There's a lot of memories left behind. The people did have money. At the time, those cars were relatively expensive. The Porsche and the Jaguar. That panel mail truck, probably worth more now than it was back in the day. But that's back there. They got numerous boats. That hovercraft, the hovercraft I've never seen before. I think that's a custom-made creation. I could be wrong, but I've never come across a hovercraft in an abandoned spot. So it's my first time doing that, my first time forgetting to come back to this abandoned house and film it. So this video was a, a video first, so to speak. But they had money. It's without a doubt they had money. But the place is just in disarray. Junk piles, scrap piles. Who knows what the story is as to why it looks the way it does. They could have came into health problems and just couldn't maintain it anymore. You really don't know. But they're on a few acres here, I believe. It's at least two acres, I think. But it's not a huge house, but it's unique looking. It's got, you know, it's got its own unique look to it. I've never seen a house like that before. And it's just sad to see it in the condition it's in. But I'm glad we are able to come and check it out today. Now, if someone does own the property, obviously, whether it's a distant family member who lived here, it could be bank owned. You know, if it fell behind on taxes, it could went up for a tax auction sale. Someone from out of state could own it. Who knows? But nothing's being done with it. There's no new posted signs. It's not fenced off. No purple paint. Nothing really has changed except that nature is reclaiming as it always does. Surprisingly enough, everything is nearly identical as to how it was a few years ago, which is great to see. There's no graffiti. I was expecting the cars to be gone. I mean, the taillights were removed, but I can't remember if they were already gone or not, but things are still where I remember them. It's just nature is just taking over. The elements are doing its job on this house. And slowly but surely, this house is just gonna collapse in on itself. It's too far gone to be salvaged. It will have to be raised and somebody will buy this just for the property itself. It's a nice corner lot, large and semi-frequently busy as you could hear but anyways i'm so glad i was able to come check it out and to bring you along as well because it almost didn't happen and i made sure that that got corrected these trucks non-stop <laughs> busier than i thought here but you guys are welcome to share your input down below on any items you've seen whether it's objects you recognize or maybe have owned or could find out information on myself and the viewers I always do appreciate that and it just kind of adds more to the story of what we just see here today whether or not this will be here in a few years i don't know time will tell but regardless we got to check it out we got to document it and these abandoned houses are some of my favorite if you want to see more adventures just like this one specifically abandoned adventures check my playlist down below of abandoned remains you'll find all of them there and i just want to say that if you enjoy this type of content to do a few things give the video a thumbs up it not only lets youtube know that you like this content but lets youtube know that this content should be shared with others so they can enjoy it as well i do put out two videos a week mainly two videos sometimes three typically mondays and fridays so if you want to stay up to date on what i'm putting out next feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're not already haven't already done so and to ring your notifications make sure they're turned on otherwise thanks for spending your time with me if you made it to the end i definitely appreciate that I took my time to show you as much as I could to be respectful and to document it in as most detail as I could so that you guys could get the most out of this video. So thanks once again for your support, for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.